Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, this week, we are studying the letter B and bugs. And this was the book that you completed yesterday, right? And you read through your sentences and you hopefully colored all of the pictures and you found the word little. Little. Remember, this is our new sight word of the week. So our letter is B. B sounds like b -b like bug or butterfly. And little is our sight word of the week. Okay, so the letter of the week we said is B, and you can see it over my shoulder here. And we have B for B, or we could say bumblebee. And you all saw the bumblebee that was in my backyard, which also starts with B yesterday. I also brought with me today a boat. Boat starts with the letter B and a broom. Who helps their parents clean up? Broom. Broom starts with B. I didn't bring too many things today, um, but we have a butterfly. Butterfly starts with B, and like we said already before, B starts with B. And I have two markers here. One is blue, and the other is black. Blue and black are both colors that start with B. What was the other color that we talked about yesterday? I don't have that color marker, but it was brown. Brown is another color that starts with B, and I could show you here my anthill. Right, this anthill is brown. Brown, what number is this? Zero. And finally, I brought two things because this is interesting. This is a, who knows what this is? This is big, big starts with B. This is a bat, a baseball bat. Baseball and bat both start with the letter B. Can you think of an object that's called a bat that is not this type of bat, that's not a baseball bat. Can you think of one? It has wings. This type of bat, right? This is a bat. A bat is actually a mammal, a mammal, which is a type of animal. We humans, we are mammals. Um, mammals have hair, they have, they're warm blooded. And another thing that's characteristic of mammals is that they drink milk from their mothers and believe it or not, bats do. So there's this type of bat and there's this type of bat, two different, completely different types of bats. And they are spelled the same and they both start with the letter B. And hey, both also starts with the letter B. The letter B is very, very common in the beginning of words. Now it is time for me to write it on my board. And guess what? Board also starts with B. Okay, so to do the letter B, for the capital letter B, we start at the top line, put our marker, well, I have a marker, you put your pencil on the top line, draw a straight line down and lift your pencil. Put your pencil back at the top line, Draw one hump right to the middle line. Now it looks like we have the letter P, the capital P, doesn't it? Now we do another one right down to the bottom, right? Let's do that again. Put our pencil on the top line, draw a straight line down, lift our pencil, go back to the top, draw one hump to the middle line so it looks like we have a capital P, and then we draw another hump. Now I'm going to do it straight through this time. After you have what looks like a capital P, you don't need to take your pencil off. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So you will draw a straight line down. Now you lift your pencil, go back to the top line, draw one hump, leave your pencil there, and draw another hump. All right. Now the lowercase b we'll do down here. Start at the top line. Now this is one of those, even though it's lowercase, it's tall, it goes all the way to the top line. So you're gonna put your pencil on the top line, draw a straight line down. Then you are going to draw the circle part. It's like a backwards C, okay? So again, pencil on the top line, draw a straight line down, go back up and draw 
a little more than a half of a circle. Again, pencil on the top line, straight line down, go back up and around. Pencil on the top, straight line down, go back up and around. All right, and there you have your uppercase B and your lowercase B, and you will get a chance to practice writing your own a little bit later. All right, so it is sight word time. Um, now, I was looking through all of our sight words, and guys, we have a lot of them now. Wow. Now, sight words are one of those things that sometimes people catch on very quickly. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a longer time, but don't worry about it. Wherever you are with sight words, it's perfect. You don't have to know all of them. If you do, that's fantastic. If you don't, just keep watching. The more you see sight words, the more all of a sudden you'll go, oh yeah, I remember that one now. So don't worry about it. Wherever you are, just keep on watching and eventually it'll click. Okay, so I am going to separate the sight words in half. We'll do half of them today and we'll do half of them tomorrow because there's just too many to do at one time on the computer. So I will show you half of our words today. Ready? So let's start with the word of the week, of course, is little. So I'll hold it up, same routine as always. You say it, hopefully before I do. If not, you repeat me, okay? A, funny, big, up, here, run, one, two, we, you, I, and. All right, so that was about 13, 13 or 14 sight words, I think 13. That's a lot, that's a lot of sight words. And you know, I was, um, this one, I don't feel like we've done this one enough. This is run, R-U-N spells run. We did this about two weeks ago, okay? So this is a newer word, run, run. Okay, so now it is sentence time. All right, so I have your first sentence of the day. I'm going to try to do sentences a little bit differently every day of the week so that it's not the same all the time. Sometimes we'll do them on the board, sometimes we'll do them with cards, and sometimes we'll do them on the computer, okay? This is your first sentence. So we have, we see a little b. We see a little b. Great. Now what words, which words rhyme in this sentence? We see a little b. There are three. We only have five words in this sentence and three of them rhyme. Can you believe it? We see and B. We see B. They all rhyme. All right, sentence number two. It is big and funny. It is big and funny. Now, I wanted to show you and make sure that you know when you are reading, when you get to the end of one line, you go to the bottom, to the left, and start at the next line. And it's the same when you get a little bit older and you start writing. Sometimes I have older students that say, Miss Jessica, I ran out of room. Well, if you run out of room, you just go right down to the beginning of the next line and you continue, all right? All right, and your last sentence is I see you run. I see you 
run. Awesome. All right, so again, our letter of the week is B. And our sight word of the week is little, little. B, little, b, b. The butterfly is little. So join me back here for story time. Um, today we are going to be reading a story, it's very sweet, about a little donkey. So join me back for story time to read Little Gray Donkey. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.